Hey guys, this is Mohit and today we're going to talk about how you can save a lot more money while investing in stocks. Before that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so so that you don't miss out the next one. If you have any comments or suggestions, please put in the comment section and tell me how you like this. Let's start. The first thing is capital gains. Now, if you're investing in a market for a long time, you probably already know about this, but I'll tell you how you can manage it more effectively and save a lot more money. There are two types of capital gains long term and short term and the capital gains are not only just for stocks gains on other assets such as real estate are also considered as capital gains we'll just talk about stocks for now basically if you sell a stock at a gain you have to pay some taxes to the government now if you had that stock for more than a year the gain on that stock is going to come under long term capital gains which is just 10 percent in india but agar aap wo stock ek saal ke andar bech dete hain let's say if you decide to sell that stock within one year the gain on that stock is going to come under short term capital gain which is 15% maan lijiye aapne january mein ek stock khareeda stock ka the price of that stock let's say in november goes to 200 now if you decide to sell that stock in november you would have to pay 15% on that gain of 100 which is 15 but Say you decide to keep that stock for one more month, you could save additional 5% on the taxes. Now, up may say both side log kahenge ki stock kya pata stock ka price niche aja hai. There is definitely going to be a price rate. But you have to analyze that stock then. If you think that stock is not that volatile and you think that price is not going to come down more than 5%, then you are better off keeping that stock for one more month and save that 5% on the taxes. The second important thing that not many people know about is taxes on any capital gains up to 1 lakh is basically zero in India. Agar aapka stock market mein gain is saal ka 1 lakh rupay se andar hai, then aapko us pe zero tax dena padega. Maan lijiye aapka stock market mein gain is saal ka hai 2 lakh rupay. The first 1 lakh is going to be exempted from any tax. Us pe aapko basically zero tax dena hai, kuch bhi tax nahi dena. The only tax you have to pay is going to be on the remaining income, which is 1 lakh in this case. Iske baare mein aur isko hum aur use karenge third point mein, which is wash sales. Again, not many people know about this. Wash sale is basically a phenomena where you sell a stock and immediately buy the same stock again. That transaction is considered as a wash sale. आइए सबसे पहले समझते हैं लोग ऐसा करते क्यों हैं। Why do people indulge in wash sales? People basically do wash sales to reduce their taxable income. मान लीजिए आपके पास दो stocks हैं X and Y। X पे आपको unrealized loss हो रहा है 100 का and Y पे आपको इस time पे gain हो रहा है 200 का। And you want to sell Y right now, but you still want to keep X in your portfolio and don't want to sell it at a loss। अगर आप इस time पे अपना Y stock बेचेंगे so your taxable income will be 200 and you basically have to pay taxes on that 200 gain but let's assume you have to sell with X and Y stock so what will your taxable income be? 100 basically we have offset the loss of X and Y that we have offset the loss of Y and Y to reduce our taxable income now once you file your taxes immediately after that you can buy that X stock back from the market now, we have Basically, we have managed to reduce our taxable income by 100 by offsetting some of the gains in Y from that losses in X and still have that X in our portfolio. Now, US doesn't allow people to do this. In US, basically, you cannot use any of the losses in that stock which are a part of wash sales to offset any of the gains on, on any portfolio stock. But in India, you can do this. Now, you can buy a stock in the first year. In the second year, you can buy a stock in the second year. In the third year, you can buy a stock in the fourth year, in the fourth year, in the fifth year, the stock value is 5 lakh. Now, in the fifth year, if you decide to sell that stock, the capital gain is going to be 4 lakhs. But if you remove that 1 lakh, from the top which is exempted from any taxes basically your taxable income is going to be 3 lakh just pay up long term 10% ka capital gains tax dena padega which in this case is going to be 30,000 rupees 
बट अगर हम बॉस्ट सेल्स को यूज करें लेट से फर्स्ट ईयर में आपने वो स्टॉक खरीदा एक लाख रुपए का सेकेंड ईयर में वो स्टॉक की जब वैल्यू हुई दो लाख रुपए यू डिसाइड टू सेल दैट स्टॉक दैट वन लाख रुपीज गेन इज गोइंग टू बी एग्जेप्टेड फ्रॉम एनी टैक्सेस आफ्टर सेलिंग दैट स्टॉक इमीडिएटली बाय दैट स्टॉक बैक अगेन एट टू लाख थर्ड ईयर में जब वो स्टॉक की वैल्यू होगी तीन लाख रुपए आप उसको दोबारा बेच दीजिए अगेन जो एक लाख रुपए होगा उस पर आपको टैक्स बना पड़ेगा जीरो दोबारा उसको खरीदिए फोर्थ ईयर में चार लाख रुपए जब उसकी वैल्यू होगी उसको दोबारा बेचिए दैट वन लाख इज अगेन गोइंग टू बी एक्सेप्टेड फ्रॉम एनी टैक्सेस दोबारा उसको खरीदिए फोर्थ ईयर में एंड फिफ्थ ईयर में आप उसको जब बेचेंगे तो उस स्टॉक की वैल्यू है पांच लाख रुपए अगेन दैट वन लाख रुपीज इज गोइंग टू बी एक्सेप्टेड फ्रॉम एनी टैक्सेज इन फिफ्थ ईयर सो अगर हम इसको एड करें तो बेसिकली इन ऑल द फाइव ईयर्स आर कैपिटल गेन्स इज अगेन फोर लाख रुपीज but our taxable income is zero because all those 1 lakh rupees in each year basically are exempted from any taxes now this brings us to the end of this video is video mein humne baat kari kaise hum ye sab cheezon ko use karke we can reduce our taxable income to the point where we basically have to pay zero taxes on the capital gains and stock market agar aapko ye video pasand aaya if you think that was informative please share it with your friends put a comment if you have any suggestions i really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do so and i'll see you in other video